Hello, hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Jenny and I am your chip plate witch. And if you are newly flying in here, well then this is a mighty warm welcome. I know guys, I have been gone three months. A little over three months, actually like three and a half months. Oh my gosh, I ended up with my back. Oh no, I can no longer reach at the top of my kneecaps as far down as I'm bending now. I, I'll record another video getting into that. Plus the kids were sick, my grandbabies and all that. But I am here to do not only a one, not only a two, but a three triple unboxing of the ginger red coffin. And the months I got here, let me see if I can do this, is July, August, September. And I hope I got them all in the same order. Believe it or not, before I stop jibber jabbering, this is my fourth time doing this video. So I'm going to try to act all surprised, but I do know what my favorites are by heart now. And with that, guys, just one quick reminder, and that is that you are magical. The magic is within you. Don't let anyone steal or take that magic away from you. And now onward to the goody goods. Ginger Red Coffin is a monthly subscription box. It's more on the fun, goth side. Having a little fun, not so much real witchcraft. It is Magical Mermaid, Michaela and Alina's favorite one. I like it because it's so fun. And if you are in the broom closet or just don't want no nosy neighbors knowing what you got, pretty good pretty good choice here. It comes in a black, plain plastic mallet on the outside. It's like the black garbage bags with a bright red sticker at the bottom that says Fragile. That's about it. There is it in the return label. The name, but not, not to the point where it's boom, here I am. But look at that. I always adore that. Look at that O. Look at that O in the coffin. Oh, ha, ha. All right. Let me see if I can do this in the correct order. And this time in one shot, though, because I have got to end this and go get the kiddios up for school, yo. Let me see if I can put that there. Mm, where am I going to put these? I'll put these up here. Sorry if my arm's getting away, but here we go. This is July, I hope. Ginger coffin. And let's open her up. And I have always known it to be the red and the black. That is what I've known. Now, oh, one more thing. Here's a little art card. I love these. I adore these more than anything. I need to find out who writes these on the back. I'm not going to go through and read each individual one. I'll put it up and you guys can pause it. I may make another video later reading them because they are clever. So here is what's on the back, which is goes along with what's inside Move my thumb over a little bit and like I said look at that look at that that and it matches this is Nicholas's Halloween shirt I got down here and when I first opened it I had no idea it was just like a perfect match watch it I was like oh my gosh oh my gosh I'm so happy all right let me get there I'm gonna end up waking up the family because my loud mouth divert your eyes if you don't want to see what's in here because here's the spoiler card and our theme is summer haunt and here's our items and boom. I will also down below leave a link to the information to these boxes and stuff along with if I can I know there's handcrafted stuff and hand art if I can find the artists of them I will also link their information down below so here we go let's take our quick little sneak peek not too much but not too little enough to the side I go I am double fist drinking this morning, guys. I am drinking my coffee, and I'm having lemon iced tea. Our first item is a handcrafted collectible pen, and it's called Ghost Love. Isn't that pretty? That is adorable. Let me pull that up where you guys get them. There's the little bats. I am in love with bats. Love me some bats. So that is our first one. Doo -doo. Um, my second item I am grabbing is, oh, yes, this box. If you are learning your crystals and stones and rocks and stuff, with each crystal stone, rock, necklace, earrings that is causing that, you get an information card that has some amazing bullet points about your stone. Isn't this, this is like one of my favorite, favorite things about this box. And it is a vegan leather chain with the black obsidian point at the bottom. This is, it fall probably right right at your um, 
Adam's apple area is what I'm thinking. It's not that long of a cord, but very cute. Oh, oh, and when you go on the site, they do have uh, a store. So some of this stuff you could buy individually later on. One item that they still have on there, I am going to get. It's a little pricely, but, but I have to get it. Fell in love. My all-time favorite wax time. Bottom the third. It's from the site. Oh, my Lord. Ginger Red Coffin. Don't know what they did with that wax, but boom, let me get going here. And my next is a vegan. Going with the necklace is vegan handcrafted bat earrings. You heard me right. Look at the bat. Look at that. Isn't those cute? They're very light, hyperallergenic. So we are good to go. Do I even have this thing in the, the camera? Probably not. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I better get going, get going. Sorry, guys, I have to do this kind of fast. Because, like I said, I'm trying to beat the alarm clock. Next, we got a cobweb, spider web, twist tie, hair tie. And look at the shimmer. Pick up the rainbows, baby. And it's a twist knot. If you have a larger head, like my magical mermaid, Michaela, it's not going to fit. It didn't fit her. It doesn't really stretch. But isn't it? I love the glitter, glitter, glitter. Alrighty, and on we go. This here, the artist in these next three boxes. I believe she may have used the same artist last year. Looks very, very, very similar to art. So here is our 5 by 7 art card. Isn't that cool, baby? And last but not least, which is my favorite item from this box. It is a ritual candle. Wait till you guys get a hold of this one. Boom. Look at that. How more awesome can you get? Look at that. Down below, let me know what was your favorite item from this box. Mine, definitely, definitely ritual candle. Now let me pack this up really, really quick, fast, boom, boom, boom. So we can go on, go on, go on to the next. I think I'm gonna leave my little haunted house card out there though. Oh, I didn't do my incense. All right, real quick, deep breath in and out. We're clearing the air of all negativity, asking only positivity remain, and that I may speak kindness and tenderness upon my lips today, and learn to live with ingratitude. And we're gonna seal that with a smoke, it be, instead of moat, it be, do 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 into my salt I go. But okay, next one, that was July, this should be August. One, two, three. And I think I did get it right. Little sneak peek, not too much, but not too little enough. Two side, I go. Aha, let me see, here we go. Their advertisement card, and on the back, spoilers, turn your eyes, turn your eyes. It is extra to, extra to terror, I can't say it. The alien is the theme. <laughs> Here's the items within. And the way I go, look at the coffin there. It's made it green. Oh, you, there was a sweet treat, too, that comes in all these boxes. The kids have stolen most of them. So here is our miniature art card. This one is amazing. That is like, wow. And on the back, again, pause and freeze frame if you want to read. It is worth it. Okie dokie. And onward I go. I am going to grab something. I My favorite thing out of this box. I never heard of it. Don't have it amazed with it love the color she's very good with keeping with this scheme not only with the items being the same the color scheme and here is the rock or crystal or stone i have never heard of it it looks like those little glow in the dark toys isn't that amazing i am like wow wow Definitely got to look up more on this one. If you guys know anything but more on it, leave it down below. This is like, wow. The color, I think, is what's getting me. Getting me. Uh, now, we will go on to coexist, but different than I've ever seen. Coexist with the alien flair. That is nice. Do, 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 do. All right. And then we have another hyperallergenic handcrafted alien earrings. I like the packaging, and I like the aliens. They got the rainbow glitter in there. I don't know if it's going to show up. Oh, yes, it is. Look at that. 
I like it, I like it, I like it. I am very, very, very impressed with this box. Next, we have Clean Away That Old Greasy Makeup Gookie Facial Scrub. I am probably going to give this one to my mermaid, Alina. She is a alien fanatic. And going on with that, my JoJo is a Area 51 fanatic. Another handcrafted. It is also got glitter in the background. It's hard to tell because it's white glitter on the white. But it's very nice. Isn't that nice? JoJo's probably going to try to steal that one on me. On the 5x7 art card. The first time, I know I held this one upside down. Isn't that cool? My very first time I tried to do it this way. I have no idea. In my own upside down world. How about that? And the last but not least item. Well, no, two items. Like I was saying with the sweet treats. Look, a green Twizzler. Go along with all this green alien. And we've got a pair of low cut socks. Now, my magical mermaid, Michaela, died laughing. She's like, I don't understand how they're socks. These are not the most, uh, what to say, quality made. I would say I wouldn't wear them with sneakers or running shoes. They're probably going to slide all the way down. They kind of look like a shirt that got cut off. But they are adorable. And they blend in. And my favorite item. Ta-da. And this art card. I have to throw that one in there, too. Whoa. Now, on to the last. Let me box this up real quick, real fast. My mouth is drying out. I may have to take a sippy roux. And I try not to slurp in you guys' ears. No promises, but we'll try not to. See, my Lipton iced tea. Not diet. I know, I know. We're not going to tell the doctor. Okie dokie. Last but not least. And then we're going to end this up. We've got... Ghostly Garden is our next one. Not too much, but not too little. And off to the side we go. So here is the art card with the writing on the back. It is wonder. I like this. This one's probably going up on my wall. And the reading, like I said, I may do another video reading these off because they are amazing. There we go. I do. Look at that. Like that. And then here's the advertisement. Divert your eyes if you don't want to see. And it's the ghostly garden. Aha. Now, my husband is the uh, plant witch. <laughs> I mean, my, you should see his ring thumb. This is an iron-on patch. It does look like it's a, a ginger red coffin item. Alrighty. Uh, next. This I have never seen in a box or even online or anything. This is a plant profile info cards. You get 30 of them. They are very hard quality. But check this out. Look at all that information. And you could really go, she needs adorable. But that is, I have not seen that. That shoot. Then we got what I would call a little makeup bag or trinket bag, maybe a crystal holding bag. Voila. Gotta love the art, guys. I am so, so awesomely excited about art all the time. And, oh, this emerald pen. Last box, knocked it over the roof here. It is another handcrafted pen. Look how wonderful that is. That is done so well with the shadowing. It looks 3D. I, bravo. And then we've got a regal, oh, I just knocked that camera. Sorry, guys, sorry. A reusable grocery bag that's made out of like the really disposable, I would call raincoats you get, little ponchos, like if you're at a football or a baseball game. And it says, sunshine is for plants. But the rest of it's going to leave in the dark. And like I said, it's not, it's, the best way I can describe it is, Yeah, I like the thin raincoats. And it's just an open bag, nothing in there. Just a plain open 
black hole. <laughs> and I am almost done here, guys. I got two more, then we're gonna end this up real fast. I'm trying not to hit my incense with that. That would be disastrous. The stone. And see how the colors go, the theme goes. Even her crystal here. I'm going to read just the bottom part of this because it really impressed me. And that is, promotes the health and vitality of plants, vegetables, or anything that grows in the dirt. Amazing. And here is the rock. I hope you can get it. It's chipped there a little bit, but that's all right. It does have the marbling effect. I don't know if it's picking up being in my room. Then let's put that in there and then I have I think only one more thing and then we're going to call it quits and that is the Funny Bay 7 Art Card very cute probably my least favorite out of all of them but it's cute and with that being said guys my favorite item in here would definitely have to be these so I got this this check out the art again and then the candle from the first box those are me favorites you guys leave me leave me know down below what are you drinking and what were some of your favorites and with that seeing said guys i'm going to cut cut it off and with it stay safe have fun don't get so grown you forget to see the magic all around you until then bye